When a man really desires something so deeply, and if he is willing to stay his entire future on a single turn of the wheel, he will definitely get it. Because success doesn't come to the most intelligent or to the most talented. Success comes to those who are thirsty for it, unquenchable thirst. Those who have an abnormal appetite, an insatiable appetite. The question is how thirsty you are, how hungry you are. Today we are going to discuss three most light requests in English language. If you are a beginner, you needn't worry about the grammar. You repeat after me. You can learn hands down means easily. Let me ask you a simple question. How did you learn twinkle twinkle little star we learned twinkle twinkle little star by listening and repeating it so repetition is the secret i don't know whether you have studied this poem or not if you want to learn some questions or expressions, it's not necessary that you must know grammar. You need to practice. Then you can learn. Now, let's get going. Imagine you are traveling in a bus. You want a seat. And you ask somebody please move a bit or can you please move a bit or will you please move a bit would you please move a bit all these questions are polite but the most polite question is could you please move a bit? Could you please move a bit? You repeat after me. If you are ready to move, say, of course, sure, certainly. If you are not ready to move, you can say, sorry, unfortunately not. Next. You can ask your friend, could you please help me to complete my work? Could you please help me to complete my work? Next, could you please call me tomorrow? Could you please call me tomorrow? Next, could you please send me email? Could you please send me email? You can ask your friend. Could you please drop me at MLA quarters? Could you please drop me at MLA quarters? Could you please inform me when the doctor arrives? Could you please inform me when the doctor arrives. Suppose you meet a stranger and you talk with him. He tells his name and you don't get his name. So you can ask, could you please spell your name? Could you please spell your name? Next. Could you please make me 
a cup of green tea could you please make me a cup of green tea next could you please show me the way to the railway station could you please show me the way to the railway station answer of course you go straight and you will find a traffic signal from there you turn left and walk for 5 minutes you will find a double theater on the left side just opposite to that you will find the railway station today you get a call you can ask could you please call me after some time even if you are not busy you can ask the person who calls you could you please call me after some time you repeat these 10 questions light requests again and again and you will learn it very fast next we are going to learn would you mind and when we use this form would you mind we must add verb plus ing for example you see could you please move a bit would you mind moving a bit move plus ing would you mind moving a bit if you agree to move you can say no i don't mind if you don't agree your answer is yes it means i'm sorry next would you mind helping me to complete my work would you mind helping me to complete my work would you mind calling me tomorrow would you mind calling me tomorrow would you mind sending me email would you mind sending me email Would you mind dropping me at MLA quarters? Would you mind dropping me at MLA quarters? Would you mind informing us when the doctor arrives? Would you mind informing us when the doctor arrives? Would you mind spelling your name? Would you mind spelling your name? Would you mind making a cup of green tea? Would you mind making a cup of green tea? Would you mind showing me the way to the railway station? Would you mind showing me the way to the railway station? Would you mind calling me after some time would you mind calling me after some time practice these questions again and again you will be able to speak these polite requests very fast next the third polite request would you mind if i if he if she etc when we use would you mind if i plus first form of the verb example would you mind if i open the window would you mind if i open the window means if i open the window do you have any problem no i don't mind 
would you mind if i close the door would you mind if i close the door yes i'm sorry would you mind if i take it would you mind if i take it no i don't mind would you mind if he sits here for a while would you mind if he sits here for a while would you mind if she goes a little early today would you mind if she goes a little early today would you mind if he uses your bullet would you mind if he uses your bullet would you mind if i accompany you would you mind if i accompany you no i don't mind so we discussed three most important light requests watch this class for a week and repeat all these questions and learn these three most important light requests all the best thank you for listening thank you very much